Woohoo! So today it snowed, which doesn't happen very often. So I figured, why don't I test out the new 5D Mark IV, take some photos with it and see how it does, and kind of give you guys some tips on how to take photos out here. All right, so I'm here with my sister Haven and her friend Maddie. They're gonna be the portraits today. The portraits. They're gonna be the people that I'm gonna take the portraits of. Here's the three tips. Tip number one, you need snow. Tip number two, you need people. Tip number three, you need a camera. We're done with the video. There you go. Just kidding. Oh yeah, we're gonna go sledding as well. Yeah. Gonna make it a fun day of it. All right, so we made it to our destination. We're gonna try to get some photos. Here's my sister and Maddie, you already know them. Uh, my brother Carson joined us, he's over there. Carson! Tip number one when shooting photos out in the snow is shoot in raw, that way you can get highlight recovery and shadow recovery, and just recover those details back in post. Uh, let's find a cool spot. Okay, so this actually looks really cool. I think I'm gonna have my sister Haven go stand right over there. And I'm gonna shoot from right here to kind of get some bokeh and some depth in the background. Okay, so tip number two is make sure you have contrast. Because it's very bright and white. Um, you don't want it to just be like a flat image. Make sure your subject has like contrasting colors or find a background like these trees back here to kind of give it a nice pop to your image. So we just got done taking some of those photos and we're meeting up with our family down at this awesome pond. We're gonna go sledding and you can see my mom running behind me. Hi mom. Hey, I got the perfect picture for you, come over here. Oh, she wants a picture now, okay. Yeah, come here, look, you gotta see it. Uh, but look how, look how beautiful this is. We're about to get some Thank awesome you. photos. Okay, so we're going to the building that my mom wants us to take photos at, which is this right here. It's actually pretty cool. The door? Right here, Calvin. Look right here. Make sure you get it. Oh, that's actually really cool. My mom actually has a great idea for a photo. Yay! Oh, okay. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> All right, this is about to be really cool. About to see the photos in three, two, one. But another tip is make sure there's foreground in your photo. It just adds like an awesome dynamic to it. So I'm gonna use my mom as the model and I'm gonna shoot through these leaves right wow. here. And she's gonna be over there getting the picture. So, hey mom. Hey. Okay, so I don't know exactly how I'm gonna frame it up yet, but you're about to see it in just a second. Okay, so now we went inside of this building, but whoo, this is beautiful. This is, I, I love the snow. Look at this. Bye, cool old house. Joe, what's up, buddy? Up, gas. Look at the autofocus, just focuses on his face all the time. Mm -hmm. well, who are you gonna kill with that snowball? Who are you gonna throw it at? Or not be me. Oh, oh. We got him! It's like everyone left. Got something on the lens there. So my dad, he's here. It's so But look at this fire. Okay, so we came up with another photo idea. We're gonna take this canoe that I'm in and we're gonna take it out in the pond and try to get some cool photos. Let's do it. I decided to actually go out here on the pond with my brother Campbell. So, uh, you know those photos where you kind of like see the feet in the canoe, like the lake in the background? I'm gonna do that right now. So, kind of like worried because I have the gorilla pod wrapped around the back of the canoe. So, if we flip, I lose my camera. It should be fun. Yeah. Remember that building that we were shooting in earlier? Whoop. There it is. Hey guys. Look at that. 
Frost bite. What'd you say? My hands. Wait. Yeah, it's a bit cold out here. Um, well, this is cool. I'm actually gonna take a photo of this really quick. Another tip for just shooting in the snow is just like be creative. I know that's kind of like cliche, but just like challenge yourself to do different things. Like it's get out in the cold. It's freezing right now. It's really cold right now. But you know, this is how your photos will stand out. You kind of take that extra initiative to find a new angle. But I just kind of turned the camera around and started taking photos of my brother Campbell. Hi. And I think they turned out really cool. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching this video today. That kind of concludes adventure slash how to take photos in the snow. I know it was kind of all over the place, but some key takeaways. Oh, that was cool. It was like snow just falling. Anyways, the key takeaway is to one, always shoot in raw. That's kind of a given if you're a photographer. Number two, make sure your subject has contrast, like a blue shirt, red shirt, something that's like not like a white snow coat or something. Something that kind of pops out from the rest of the white snow. Number three, kind of have a foreground in your picture. So just have an eye out to kind of put things in the front of your subject. So if that's like a tree or leaves or even snow on some of the branches, just give it some more interesting look to your framing. And lastly, number four, just kind of keep your eye out. Just kind of challenge yourself, get creative. I know that's cliche, but it does help. It does make your photos stand out. You know, get down, try different angles, tell your subject to move. I want these videos to kind of be fun and entertaining and so you kind of enjoy this little mini adventures and also gain knowledge and insight from it. So, if you liked the video, be sure to subscribe, give this video a like, and I think I'm gonna try to do weekly uploads. I don't know like how consistent I'm gonna try to get with that, but, wow, the camera's like sliding now. Anyways, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.